You are watching Sammy, the interviewing toucan, made possible by the Indiana Young Reader Center. Hey, everybody. I'm Sammy. I'm here today with Peggy Archer. Hi, Peggy. How are you today? I'm good. Hi, Sammy. It's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you, too. I love talking to authors with Indiana Connections, and you've got an Indiana Connection to tell us about. So can you tell us about yourself and how you're connected? Well, I am definitely a Hoosier. I was born in Gary, Indiana, and I grew up there. And um, when I was a little girl, uh, my mother read a lot of books to me. And I always loved reading and I loved books. My favorite book when I was little was Nurse Nancy. It was a little golden book. And so I always wanted to be a nurse. And that's what I did. After high school, I went to nursing school in South Bend, Indiana. And I became a registered nurse. And I worked as a nurse. So I didn't start out being a writer or an author. Um, but when I got married to my husband, we lived in Whiting and we lived in Crown Point and we lived in Valparaiso. And then um, later when we had young grandchildren, they all seemed to be here in Missouri. So about nine years ago, we packed up and moved to Missouri. And now we are getting ready to move back to Indiana and Valparaiso because we have um, a young grandson there and we have a couple of great grandsons and we are going to have a new granddaughter in December. So we are gonna be around for that. Oh, that's so forward. great, Peggy, I love it. Um, so it sounds like you were kind of in the region. Is that what we call that area of the state? I think so, yes. <laughs> that's so great. So tell us a little bit about your work. I have one of your books here, A Hippie Hoppy Toad, which I will mention for our viewers, was a Indiana Early Literacy Firefly Award nominee for, I believe it was 2000, was it just last year, Peggy? I believe it was last, it was last year. Okay, so 2019, yeah. It was yeah. so, so exciting. I was just so amazed. It was just wonderful. Yes, but, we, love, we love that award. So tell us a little bit more about your work. Thank you. Um, well, I write picture books for children, and that includes fiction and poetry and nonfiction. And um, like I said, I didn't start out to be a writer, but when my husband and I ha had children, I read to them all the time. And that's what started me thinking about writing myself, writing stories and books for children. And one of the first things that, um, that I was looking, I, I wrote, I was looking for a book about a new baby. And our kids loved having a new baby and they were always happy about it. And so I was looking for a book that kind of fit our family and I could not find one to read to them about that because most of the books were about children adjusting to a new baby and our kids didn't seem to have a problem with that. So since I couldn't find one, I wrote the story about one and the kids, unlike other stories I read to them, they kept asking me to read it over again. And I thought, wow, I wonder if somebody else would like this as a book. And I got very brave because it takes a lot of courage to do this, to send your story out. And I sent it out. Six magazines rejected it, turned it down. And every children's magazine turned it down. And so I took a chance, got even more courage, and I sent it to Little Golden Books. And they liked it. And after three times uh, revising, they published it as one of a family. So that started me out. And it was so special because it was for my kids and it was a little golden book. So then after in the next 20 plus years, I had no more books published, but I was publishing now and then in magazines. And um, so 20 some years later, my second book came out. And I'll tell you when I write, I love to write humor. And I always like things that people who are funny and tell jokes and things like that. And um, so Turkey Surprise had humor in it. And that was a that was a good book to have out. It was a Thanksgiving book. Now, Peggy, then, I have to mention, I really do, I love that book because um, I might I might share the surprise if that's okay with you. Okay, so the surprise is the bird does not get eaten. I'm in favor of books where the bird does not get eaten. That's great. 
<laughs> he doesn't. And the one thing that surprised me was that after the book came out, there were people who were um, who were relating it to being a vegetarian. I believe and it. I had, <laughs> I had not written it that way, but I thought, oh, if that works for you. That's fine with me. <laughs> Anything to sell a couple of books. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I wanted to make kids laugh. I, you know, and smile and and that kind of thing. And that one did it. So um, another thing I like about writing is I like playing around with language and words and having fun with that. And I started writing poetry, which is not always easy. I work very hard at writing good poetry. So, um, so Dawn to Dreams is a collection of baby poems. So that one was fun for me. And then another thing, I had a dog. And when, um, when I wrote Name That Dog, which is another collection of poems, about dogs and their names. Um, I always tell kids that um, my dog made me write this book because that's very true. She was so funny and she's probably in at least half the poems in that book. So it's a good memory of my dog Snickers. Mm -hmm. Aw, I love that. Of course, I also love any books about animals. Mm -hmm. So Peggy, where where are you right now in your creative journey and where do you hope to be someday? I know you've got a big move coming up, but do you have more work in the pipeline? What are you thinking about? I do. Um, I, I love writing Hippie Hoppy Toad because it had such great language in it and uh, a lot of fun with words in that book. And so um, I would like to continue being published. I have another poetry collection and I have some fiction and nonfiction. I have another book um, in verse that's completed and another one that's um, starting that I've just started. I would just love to keep writing books that kids love and that make them happy. I, for me, that's, that's the joy in itself. That, that's why I, I like to write these stories. I like to see kids enjoying books and, and reading. And I hope that I can continue to do that. Oh, I love that. You know, it's, it's hard to see children right now. I know a lot of us are staying home. Authors can't go to schools for visits. So how are you doing? How are you coping with the health crisis? Do you have, do you have any advice for other folks? have been pretty good. We, you know, stay home quite a bit in the beginning. And now when we do go out, we wear masks. And I think that that's, that's considerate and that's important to um, enjoying being out with people um, and not worrying as much about the virus. I don't worry about it too much. The thing that I missed the most, the very most, was being with my grandkids. And the way we handled that was we did, um, and I learned a lot of technology during this time. So we did um, Google Hangout and FaceTime and we played Yahtzee with the kids <laughs> over that and we got to see them. So it was a lot of fun. And, um, but I, we had a couple of Zoom birthday parties for the kids, which weren't the same at all. But um, we have gotten together with the families now, but it's a little different. We're a lot more careful, so. Yeah, I love that idea of doing Yahtzee over Zoom. That's a great tip. Oh, I love that. So Peggy, I'm inviting all of my authors to share just a little something. Do you have a little show and tell for us today? I do. I, I was trying to decide what to do. And with Hippie Hoppy Toad, I wanted to just mention how I got the idea for that. My husband and I like to walk. And we were walking in the park at Quail Ridge Park here in Missouri. And on the path, it had rained the night before. There was a big wet, round wet spot. And right in the middle of that was this little tiny toad. And so my brain started thinking, well, first of all, I was worried about it getting stepped on. But so I started thinking about this story and I thought it's in the middle of the puddle, it's in the middle of the road. And it just, the words just started coming and then it got harder, but I got through it. Um, but this toad was so tiny. It was, it was early spring and it was a very tiny toad and it was probably about this big. Um, I actually called the park to find out what kind of toad it was. It was an American toad. And um, the, I talked to the toad lady, the flower lady, answered the phone and she said, well, you have to talk to the toad lady. She can help you. Oh my so gosh, is, there's a toad lady and a flower lady. I love it. There is. 
I wonder if there's a bird lady there. There probably so. is. There should, should be. Call. Yeah. Yes. Find I'll out. ask them. <laughs> <laughs> so then I did some research on the toad, and this was the way we saw him, the size. Um, these are green and toads are really brown, but um, anyway, they, um, when they get full grown, they get about this big. So they grow quite a bit. Um, and, um, but that's what started the idea for a hippie hoppy toad. Oh my gosh. I love that. Peggy, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for the interview. I hope you have a really great day. Thank you for having me here. It was so nice to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you. Well, this is your favorite Hoosier Toucan encouraging you to read local. So long, everybody.